Well, before I put forward my worries, I would like to say that for the most part, I don't disagree with many of the proposals. In particular, I like the emphasis on continuous education. Learning isn't just what you do before you get a job, learning is for life. It's important that both employee and employers understand this. Very much so. If we are to make improvements to society, we're all going to have to play a role in that. The government, business and individuals will have to come together on this one to ensure we are working together for a better future. The report makes some big claims, like improving social justice. Yes, the Leach Report does outline a pathway to social justice. It's all about raising employee awareness of skills. It's about providing better access to opportunities and access to continual career development. Raising skills will get more people into better jobs, reducing poverty and improving equality. And witches burn because they are made of wood. Look, you need skills to get a job, but having skill won't automatically lead to a job. I feel this is a gross oversimplification of the problem. I won't argue with the idea that improving your workforce skill is a good idea, but without a move towards economic egalitarianism, the increase in skills won't matter. Businesses will always try and get more work from less people. Improving your workforce skill level alone will not ensure better pay or working conditions. Well, what are the alternatives? Possibly some form of progressive taxation, but we're getting off track here. True, but do you agree that improving skills is an important step forward in improving society and that we should strive to achieve this? Yes, of course. I'm just concerned about what the cost will be. It fosters an attitude that the purpose of education is to provide work by skills. I'm concerned about the country as a whole. We cannot rely on our natural resources to provide for us, and our manufacturing industry cannot compete with that of developing nations. We are reliant on working in the service industry and in an information economy. If our workforce is not equipped to survive in this environment, we are doomed to fail. We need skilled workers who can adapt to the changing economic environment and exploit new markets. This is the only way we can ensure economic well-being for the country as a whole. Don't you feel that the emphasis on workplace skills runs the risk of turning Britain into a cultural wasteland? I think that's going a bit far. I mean, this is not something entirely new. Since the 60s, the government has seen the need to train people in marketable skills, and it's not like we have no cultural interests left. Actually, there is a point there. We have tried training for the marketplace before, and the results was always a call to move back to educating rather than training. It seems that the move towards vocational qualification the goal has shifted. Uh, first it was training for job, now it's training for skills. What's going to be in 10 years from now? Change happens. We as a society need to adapt to meet those changes. A solid platform of education based on self fulfillment can work. It has been shown in societies where education for education's sake is a priority, they tend to be more productive and have a happier population. We can achieve economic success and we can address social change. Can you guarantee meeting a person's economic needs? I can guarantee satisfying Maslow's self fulfillment needs. And is that enough? Well, if you're ever going to see 40% of the population doing a degree, or equivalent, you're going to have to acknowledge the role of self-fulfillment as part of the education process. Not all degrees have defined return on investment. Doing something like film studies, fine art, English or even history are choices by, made by people with a passion for the particular subject, not people who are looking for multiple skills. Look, I'm not against people following their passions. I just feel that we need to first focus on providing people with skills that they need to survive in today's economic world. I just feel that the economic viewpoint is damaging the academic world. I, it leads to a dismissal of courses that are not seen to have a return on investment, and it can lead to the creation of semi-vocational courses that have a proposed uh, return on investment, but often the course content has dubious relevance to the real world. I agree that care has to be taken. This shouldn't just be a plaster over a superficial wound, but a full medical treatment for an ongoing sickness. Without true change in government, business and education, there is a real chance of failure. 
we as a society have to work together to improve our society. Well, I can't argue with that. <laughs>